So the, the, the only way to really land it is to have it continue on that arc, that ballistic arc, and then land far out to sea on a ship that's, that's pre-positioned to a particular uh, latitude and longitude, very, very precise, to within about a meter. Um, and then the, the rocket will um, then go from vacuum through rarefied air at hypersonic velocity. Uh, um, it, and, and what, so when it's, in, when it's in vacuum, it has to, obviously you can't use aerosurfaces, you have to use um, nitrogen jets to control the, um, the attitude and position. And then um, as it starts to encounter uh, the air, um, we use um, grid fins, because grid fins uh, look like, sort of like a waffle. Um, that they work quite well across a wide regime from both very high velocity um, hypersonics through supersonic, transonic, and subsonic. Um, so it's hard, to, it's, it's hard to have aerosurfaces that work well across that entire regime. And then, uh, so once the air forces become high, it uses the, um, the four grid fins to, to sort of control its attitude. To and, land itself. Yeah, it's, it's controlling its... It's, it's controlling pitch, yaw, and roll with with the grid fins, um, and uh, and then once and th those grid fins will then position it to where it's fairly close to the ship, and then it will light. In this case, three of the nine engines to arrest the velocity, and then drop to one engine for precision right before landing. Right.